What's up, YouTube? Jeffy Style OG. And on today's video, we're going to talk about the three types of boots every man needs and how to wear them. If you're new to the channel, we release a new video every day at 4 p.m. Eastern discussing various men's lifestyle topics such as style, grooming, and dating. I invite you to subscribe and tap that notification bell and join us. And to my returning friends like Oscar Smith, salute. So the topic for today's video is a result of a question from one of the Style OG family members who asked, I've started dress up a little bit, some casual looks, some dressy, but I don't like wearing dress shoes all the time. Are there some boots, two or three pair that I can incorporate and still look put together? So I thought that was an excellent question. So after I thought about it, I came together with the three boots that I think if you have those, you can dress them up, dress them down, be well rounded, but don't feel stuffy like some Oxfords or some regular wing tips. So what we're going to do in today's video, I'm going to describe each boot and kind of do a mini lookbook for each one of them. Now each of these boots, I have more in depth videos that you can check out that I'll link in the description. So without further ado, let's get into the three boots every man should have and how to wear them. Now the first boot I will reach for, without a doubt, a chucker boot, represented here by our suede Clark's desert boot. Now the reason why I love a chucker boot it's very versatile, easily dressed up, easily dressed down, and it looks good on almost any guy. So let me give you a couple examples in this mini lookbook of how you can rock the chucker boot. Now for our first look, we got what normally would be a business casual look, but the addition of a chucker boot makes it a little more rugged and a little more masculine. As you can see here, I have my chucker boots on with the dressiest of all denim, my dark denim. On top of that, got a simple button up shirt underneath my navy blazer with a navy knit tie. Put it all together, substitute the chucker boot instead of some wingtips or a dress shoe or a loafer, you got a business casual look with a little ruggedness and some masculinity. Now for our second look, I wanted to go a little dressier and a little bit more refined with one of my favorite looks, some sand chinos and a gray v-neck sweater. Now as you can see here, once again, same chucker boots, but this time I've got the gray v-neck with a nice white button up underneath. I can easily see you rocking this one going bar hopping or on a nice spring or fall crisp date night. Showing that you can have a little dressiness, but you can do it with some boots. Now our second boot is for that times you don't want to be quite as rugged as a chucker boot. You want to be a little dressier. Of course, I'm talking about a dress boot. A dress boot, a great substitute for a dress shoe because you can get them in the same styles you would get dress shoe in. For example, a wingtip or a cap toe. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Now for our first look, you can see just how much more refined a dress boot can be. Refined and polished. As you can see here, I've got my wingtip style dress boots paired with my gray herringbone trousers and a nice black shawl collared sweater. If you're looking for a nice cold weather polished look, and then once again, you don't want dress shoes when you put on a boot, reach for a nice dress boot. Now for our second look, I'm transitioning to some cap toe dress boots to show you the literal definition of suited and booted. As you can see here, I have my brown Glen plaid suit, one of my cold weather favorites. Throw on these cap toe dress boots instead of dress shoes, you don't lose any level of the sophistication or refinement, even though you have boots. Put it all together, it's a little more rugged but still refined way of throwing on that suit in the cold weather. And last but not least, for our third boot, it's the one to grab when you want to be a little more rebellious and have a little more edge. Of course, I'm talking about that Chelsea boot. Now Chelsea boots definitely boot to grab when you don't want to look stuffy. Nothing stuffy about a Chelsea boot. Let me show you what I mean. Now for our first look, I want to give you an edgy streetwear type of vibe with these boots. As you can see, I've done here with my khaki suede Chelsea boots. Throw it on with a pair of distressed jeans and on top, my white band collar shirt. You got to look that nobody's going to be confused with the stuffy guy. Showing you that you want a little edge, a little rebellion, some sex appeal. Grab yourself a pair of Chelsea boots. Now for our second look, I'm using my brown suede Chelsea boots to add edge to a suit. 
As you can see here, I have my gray flannel window pane suit and underneath a navy button up shirt with a button undone. To me, this is a fly Saturday night outfit, adding some sexiness and some edge to a suit. To me, it's a great way to add a little edginess and rebellion to your normal outfits. Okay, so there you have it. My guide to the three boots every man needs and how to wear them. Remember, I got some links in the description that goes into more detail on each boot we talked about today. Let me know in the comment section what kind of boots you like to rock, especially out of three we talked about. As always, I hope you enjoyed the video. If so, hit that like button. It helps the channel to grow. And of course, tap that notification bell so you don't miss any of the videos released every day at 4 p.m. Eastern. And I'll check you out tomorrow.